Hello everybody, this is Brendan Strains here. Here we're going to do part three of my list, along with Pineapple Turtle X. Everyone just resting in my shed here. And we have a third person joining us today. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Miller Cook. Let's take it away. Six. This next locomotive has six driving wheels. It's a 462 Pacific and one of only two K4s left. The number of it is 1361. It has a very interesting story. This deserves to be on the list because its excursion service was short-lived. 1361 is a K4 462 Pacific built in 1918. 1361 pulled passenger trains like the Red Arrow and the Broadway Limited until 1956 when it was sadly retired. Happily, the story doesn't end there. In 1957, she was put on display near Horseshoe Curve. She stayed there until 1985. Same year, she was sent to Pennsylvania's Altoona Works for restoration. She was finished in 1987 and began pulling trains. So in 1987, she earned the title of S State Locomotive, which is actually a very special title. She only pulled excursion trains for one year until 1988 when she had a bad axle failure. 1996, 1361 was sent to Steamtown for restoration. Steamtown is also home to Nickel Play Road number 759, which was number 8 on this list, B&M number 3713, which is being restored for operation, Reading number 2124, and Union Pacific Big Boy number 4012. 2010, the restoration plans were canceled and she remained in pieces. In 2018, things are shining again for the 1361. Private donations are underway to restore her back to operating condition. It will be a matter of time until this old gal is back running on the rails. Number 5, Reading 1187. This is the only Camelback engine on my list, and the only Reading engine on the list as well. 1187 is an 040 Camelback locomotive built in 1903 for the Philadelphia and Reading. 1187 was a Camelback locomotive, which a Camelback has the cab in the middle of the boiler. On the Reading Railroad, their steam engines burned slow-burning anthracite coal, so the steam locomotive seemed a really large firebox. Unfortunately, there was not enough room for the cab to be put at the back of the locomotive, so the Reading Railroad was best known for its camelbacks, which means they had to put the cab in the middle of the boiler. 11A7 would stay with the Reading Railroad until 1946 when she was sold to the ENJ Brook Plant in Birdsboro, Pennsylvania and renumbered to engine number 4. She worked in the plant until 1962 when she was sold to the Strasburg Railway. 11A7 was used for mainline trains until six weeks later when she had to be reassigned to yard switching duty. This is because the Strasburg really tried to fire the engine with regular coal, which didn't help number 4's steam capacity. Number 4 ran until 1967 when her fire was dropped for the last time. Today, 1187 was relighter back to its Reading appearance, and it would stay at Strasburg in a very bad condition until 2020 when the Age of Steam Roundhouse acquired the engine. Today, 11A7 is being cosmetically restored at the Age of Steam Roundhouse in Sugar Creek, Ohio. And 11A7 will always be remembered as Strasburg number four, the last camelback in operation. Number four, Savannah and Atlanta 750. This 1910 Alco product was originally used for the Florida East Coast Railroad and was known as engine number 80. Number 80 pulled passenger cars until 1935 when a massive hurricane destroyed the bridges because of the situation. Florida East Coast had to sell off the engine to the Savannah and Atlanta Railway and renumbered to 750. When the engine was on the Savannah and Atlanta, it was converted to an oil burner. After that, Savannah and Atlanta was absorbed into the Central of Georgia Railway in 1962. 750 was put on display at the Atlanta chapter of the National Railway Historical Society. 750 pulled several excursions for the Society from 1962 to 1966. 
In 1968, 750 was leased to the Southern Railway. 750 worked for the Southern Steam Program until 1974 when it was put in storage. In 1983, she ran a few final excursions for the Norfolk Southern Steam Program. In the same year, 750 was leased to the New Georgia Railroad and ran excursions until 1989 when it was retired because repairs got too expensive. Today, the 750 is at the Southeastern Railway Museum in Duluth, Georgia, on stat static display. It is unlikely the 750 will ever run again. Wow, part three complete. Jeez, only three engines left? This has gone fast. Thank you for watching part three. Stay tuned for part four. Well, I gotta go now. It's time for me to pull my excursion train, which I called the Hilton. See you guys in part four.